and was immensely important down the stretch in that Omaha game. Here we go. Minnesota and BU, two royalties in college hockey. Back on the ice together in this regional final. Game away from getting back to the Frozen Four. Unfinished business. Early save from close. Rebound. Entangled over there along the wall in front of the Minnesota bench. And he pried it free. In by his lonesome in the zone. Got it there by Kester. Good fun start to this one up and down to Bryce Brodzinski's creativity goes cross ice there looking for Nevers now out in front Lane Hudson Minnesota on their heels a bit here Green for BU might catch Minnesota in a change here as well Fed up the slot and shot there Prince when BU has Lane Hudson out there now first period, Thomas off the draw, shot, rebound out in front, and they go for fan nothing. Brodzinski will get back on the puck, curl around the net of Karan. Rich shot, score! Jackson Nelson, third of this NCAA tournament. Holy smokes, just get the man the puck. Absolutely on fire. Good puck movement. This was Hughes out there now for BU, that forward line. And Hughes will just launch it into the glove of close. If you tuned in late, Jackson Nelson, the lone goal for Minnesota. There's a one-timer from Quinn Hudson. But a hit on Lane Hudson, centering pass. Room was out in front there. Now Nelson again. And Koran with the point blank save. 62 in the Frozen Four. Now Tuck passed out in front, looking for Stevens. And a save from close. Great keep in by my guys or the guys that are going well long a lot off, more often Speaking of top guys and over the Minnesota line stop up showcasing his edge work and now the chance tried to go Some danger here moving in is green a shot saved by close John middle stat tried to play it back to Chesley he does loads up a reload Just try to get momentum on their team side in a hurry. Maybe a two-on-one with Celebrini and Lachance. They'll drop it off for Lane Hudson. Little drag to the net. Here's Jackson Nelson, the star of the show for Minnesota so far. Uh, the Gophers look like they have a little trouble. They create trouble here and add on to this lead. Brodzinski, 2-0 Minnesota. He's been waiting a while to score last goal back in January. But a good forecheck again. Brodzinski kind of starts it. Puck moves. What a start for the Ghosts. And now right back to the way. Always have to keep an eye on that job for the Golden Gophers. Close that just squeaked through. And BU answers right back. Wow. Win Hudson was able to tack that in. And look at this, just wow, right off the, the draw here. Yeah, almost just you hear the building in shock, but a really good play there by Hudson. They're gonna look out here, Snuggaroo, danger time, little drag move. Snuggaroo! Oh! And a save by Karan. What a play. I thought Jimmy Snuggaroo. The 28th all-time meeting between these two storied programs. It's been so good. Two to BU last five-minute shots for 5-1 in favor of Minnesota. It was up and down. It was a line over Omaha. They come back into the zone here cleanly. Fish throws it towards the net. Went wide. And Celebrini and Shane Lachance on the ice. No pull up. Lachance shot. Score! Tied up in Sioux Falls. Shane Lachance, the beneficiary. Look at that dangle from Macklin Celebrini. I don't know if he's... And now they'll leave it off. Green a shot saved by Close. Played with Bob Matsko at St. Cloud State. He was telling us all sorts of fun stories about that. Trolled with Celebrini. Lachance did well to just get that puck out. And now Harvey scores!
This line for BU continues to cook in this second period. What a shot. Young man who scored 40 goals last year in the USHL. A part of the personnel that Minnesota, of course, lost from last year. Had to adjust it, sing away from Harvey. Harvey, who scored the last goal for BU. That one's wide. Kester net to look at there. Oliver Moore had a good look. Now Kester down in below the goal line. Who's stuck out there? See if Minnesota can capitalize. Oh, off the bench. A shot. Goal. Minnesota has tied it up. Looks like it was Huglin. Lamb with the shot. He's the guy that they come off the bench. Karan made an unbelievable save here as Minnesota was carrying the play, able to get a change, fresh bodies out there. And now it's Harvey up to the line and a puck held on to by Cl Thomas was trailing the play. And Nelson had a good look there. He'll get off the ice yeah. a little bit. But another chance. Great save here. Tries to go to the back and tries to go. Five. McCarthy get it back to Hudson. Little give and go. Hudson shifting through traffic. Didn't get a shot off. Dancing pass. Middle stat. What a move. Hudson centers. Score. And Stevens looked like he was out in front there. That was all Lane Hudson, though. He takes advantage. This is the first time they've had the upper center top 10 caliber assist in this game already. Here's Quinn Hudson, brother of Lane, with a shot saved by averages about four goals in losses about two. Here's Snuggeru moving in a blast and a save from Karan. Juicy Karam all the way back out to center. Here a minute to go in the second period. They've been able to hem BU in their own end a couple of times. Fine, but not out. Rinzel was there to hold it in. Now Thomas with 28 seconds left in the period. They jam away. Well, there you go. Shane, there's Shane will get that. Yep. Four to three. BU up. After two periods of play, we'll send it to the boys in the studio. Buckle up. One period left in regulation. Radzinski will slip it across. Nelson scored earlier. A shot there held on to by Koran. I mean, it's getting to the point where you're almost expecting it, but. Here comes Celebrini into the zone. A little nifty move to the slot. Just yes, slipped off in this one. In with speed come the go for Snuggerud. Shot high. Will curl and take the space he's offered. Operates into the zone with this line that has been so back. Zabonet has been on a heater lately, goes to his backhand here, curls around. Hudson drive shot and a save. There's Quinn Hudson now, already scored today. Celebrini one-timer and close holds on. Back and forth. And batted out, knifed over to Rinzel. Nice little no-look pass, Euglin shot blocks corner. Trying to take the puck away from him was McCarthy. Blast from the point, defended the side. Karth was at the side of the Up to the line. Puck got through, and Karan holds on. How Lane Hudson got to keep your head on a swivel when he's rolling down the wall. He leaves it out in the slot. Over. Stevens, center, shot saved by Close. Rebound and a shot that goes wide. Got to go to work now up to Chesley. Puck banked off awkwardly again in front. And a clearance. Jackson Nelson, a little. Nudge to Salbrini's backside and gives him the two on one. Watch this, these guys have lined up so many two on one. Brodzinski patiently looking back up. Kester blocks. Oh. Boy, BU laying their bodies trying to get it out here. They can't center and pass. Kaplan on the doorstep. Tuck tried to put it blocked out in front. Looks like Weber again. Chesley on the reload. Another block. It was Weber again. Connor Kurth flying right at him. Ultimately, they get the puck out. Dribbling towards the empty net. There it is. And BU goes up two goals with 1.45 to go. How fitting. Who scores that goal? The fifth year captain. Snuggeru trying to corral it. Works his way around Karan's net. Attempted to center the line. Middle 
Neustadt can hold it in, and it'll be Stevens, and this will be the icing on the cake for BU. I think or with this win over Minnesota, they'll punch a ticket to St. Paul. It'll be their 24th appearance in the Frozen Four. BU moves on. Denver awaits. Being the game winner and Boston University, that nice big ticket. They stamp their name on it. Going to Minneapolis, St. Paul for the 2024 Frozen Four. BU fans, book your ticket. 24th Frozen Four appearance. Wow, what a game it was. But BU, like Coach said, the sacrificing it. The yep. sacrificing is the perfect word to describe it. I mean, I, there were times we saw four guys lined up across the slot there to, to block some shots.